Your elite field, seven trotters for the second 2004 Maple Leaf Trot Elimination. And they're off. All eyes on Revenue. Heavy post-time favorite on the outside. He's coming out of there with Mutineer. Revenue and Mutineer on the inside will be Muscler, Muscle Man to follow up in third. Fool's Goal takes in line from fourth. Mr. Eero is wrestled back from fifth. Then Bubba Dunn and Elegant Man will be the early trailer. Revenue was quickly out front. Mutineer well away in second. That's Mr. Muscle Man to race up in there from third. Two more to Fool's Goal. Raced away in fourth ahead of Mr. Eero. And the last pair, Bubba Dunn and Elegant Man in 28 and 2. Revenue closing at about 2 to 5 as the heavy favorite in the second. Maple Leaf Trot Elimination in total command of the front end tempo. Touched up just a little bit there before the 3 eighths by Jorgen Sjunison and he's the leader at tight length. Mutineer was away in second. On the inside third Mr. Muscle Man in the first over sacrifice by long shot. Mr. Eero he's moving up effectively on Revenue though on the way to the half. Baba Dunn quickly put up there loosely gapping second over into the top five. And then it's back to to elegant man to the outside of fool's goal 59 and 4 31 and 2 pedestrian speed in the second quarter and revenue about to be joined on the front end by mr hero three eighths of the mile to go mutineer back along the inside is third bubba dunn still two lengths off in fourth position over to head stretch and mr muscle man is fifth and then it's back to elegant man fool's goal is last and he's a past maple leaf trot champion but he's got to get up into the top five to advance to this year's final revenue was the head of the stretch leader, prompted along by long shot Mr. Eero at 55 to 1, 128 and 2, three quarter time, 28 and 3 in the third. Jorgen Sjunison just glancing over his right shoulder to keep Mr. Eero at bay. Mutineer charging on the outside is Elegant Man, who's come from a long way back, but Revenue got all of the respect and went gate to wire. Mr. Muscle Man bursting through for second. Mr. Eero lasted on for third, then Elegant Man and Mutineer. Revenue at dominant winner in 155 and 3. Well, if we had uh, Matt Sundin, Peter Forsberg, Annika Sorenstam and Jesper Parnovic here. It could have been Sweden night here at Mohawk Racetrack because the Swedish import trotters have taken both of the 2004 Maple Leaf Trot eliminations. Zardin Vern back in the second and here in the fourth race, Revenue. Back to the Mohawk winner circle. The Rev Dudon eight-year-old from Hazel Sund Owned by Stahl, revenue of 21225 Melmo, Sweden. Trained by Litvi Kolyini and driven to victory by Jorgen Sjunason. That's his ninth win in 15 starts this year. Captured the Nat Ray trot at the Meadowlands back on August 7th and romps at Mohawk in his Maple Leaf trot elimination in 155 and 3. European dominance in tonight's pair of Maple Leaf trot eliminations and uh, we'll get it right from the source, the pronunciation of your name first of all. Jorgen Schönesson. All right, welcome to North America. We were just chit-chatting here off camera. Uh, your first time to travel to North America, your, uh, your first impression? Yes, it's very nice here and uh, I think uh, uh, the drivers and trainers are very good in Canada mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot uh, of them uh, on uh, TV and uh, read uh, a lot of them in the papers. For those of us in North America, we, we don't know a whole lot about revenue other than what we saw with his victory in the Nat Ray. Uh, just talk, us, uh, talk to us about some of the background of the horse, uh, your associate with the association with the connections. Um, uh, I'm a colleague to the trainer at the same track at the southern parts of Sweden uh, at the track called Jägesro. And uh, I've driven uh, uh, revenue twice before. So uh, when uh, the driver and trainer couldn't come today. Uh, I uh, had the luck to, uh, to drive him. A big effort here tonight from the horse. Uh, you obviously had the fractions on your side. Uh, he, he really kicked it into another gear though and called on in the stretch. Yeah, he's got a tremendous turn of foot, this uh, horse, and uh, uh, he's doing uh, quite well um, in Europe in every distance and he can go in in the lead and he can go from the back it's a, a real nice uh, horse. It's always uh, 
interesting information with regards to how horses adapt to new surroundings. Uh, Revenue's done his fair share of traveling. Uh, is he a good horse to ship and stuff like that? Does he generally handle it like a professional? Yes, uh, I think that's the right word. He's a real professional and uh, he's been travel a lot uh, uh, the last two years uh, in Europe and uh, been uh, uh, to uh, America once and now this, so he's used to travel. Let's talk about uh, what you'll get up to now. Uh, you got the job done in the elimination. Uh, word has it that Lutfi's going to be around to drive him in the final. Will you stick around to see him at least? Um, it, it seems like uh, Lutfi is coming over uh, next Saturday to, to drive the final. Uh, so I, I do, I've uh, done my job and I, I hope that uh, it He'll get lucky next Saturday. All right, congratulations on the victory tonight, and uh, great to have you with us here in North America. Thank you very much. All right, winning connections of the Trotter Revenue. We saw him demolish some of North America's best in the Nat Ray, and he did more of the same here tonight.